Workers at a car dealership in Ferndale come across an unexpected guest. This is crazy. Take yeah. a look here. It's not often you see a python oh. here in Metro Detroit, especially along Woodward Avenue. Jermont Terry is live tonight with uh, how those workers reacted once they saw that snake. Jermont, good evening. <laughs> Kimberly, how would most people react here along Woodward if they saw a snake that's five feet long? They were likely jump back and scream, but the guys at the car dealership insisting no screams involved. Heard a banging on the door, saw a customer standing out there, and I'm wondering why he's banging on the door. As Eric Hay gets closer to the front door, he follows the customer's hand gestures and is floored by what he sees. This five foot long python tries getting inside Ferndale Honda. The customer was out there going, I know, and I was saying, oh my gosh. By then, the word spreads throughout the dealership about the serpent snuggled on the sidewalk. A wild python, unreal on what we're, it's a python, you know. And while the snake never gets inside, the guys did not want to see it hurt. Plus, this reptile was kind of blocking the way out. The snake is actually literally right here, uh, crawling that way. Went in the back of the parts, grabbed the box. But their slithering friend did not want to crawl inside the box with ease. So Cliff Howard decides to offer his hand. <laughs> did you think, like, should I pick it up? You know, I did, but you know, where I picked it up from, I, I felt safe, you know. Yeah, I thought it was a safe, safe situation, and that, yeah, I just did it. After capturing the snake, they run into another problem. Where do you take it? Ferndale Police, but, um, God love them, but they said they work on dogs only, so we called the zoo. They wouldn't take it, yes, because they don't know if it has disease or anything like that. They can't put it in a habitat with their other, other animals. So. so their creepy, crawly customer ended up at a home of someone who had other reptiles, and that's where the snake is tonight. But I can tell you that the guys at Ferndale Honda, they surely have a story to tell. I don't know if I would actually be the one to pick it up. What about you, Kim or Debbie? Oh, you know I would pick it up. I'm impressed with him for doing it. I'm a little concerned about the reaction of the Ferndale Police Department. <laughs> yeah, they only work on No, no, dogs. no. That's, we're not, you're on your own. I have so no. many questions, Jermont. So, so are they saying, did it come from a pet store? Was this somebody's pet that got loose? And then also, is there any word on if the snake had babies? My goodness. Kimberly lives a little too close to the scene is the problem here. Oh, she, she has a lot of questions there. I yeah. No word if it was um, expecting, but they do believe likely it may have escaped from someone's house. It appeared to be just a pet, oh, not vicious goodness. at all, but again, it's safe tonight. Yeah, you probably hardly have anything to worry about at all. Yeah, right. Probably. All right, Jermont.